Hey guys, welcome to the video today. This past fall marked 20 years after the attacks on the Twin Towers of September 11, 2001. You probably remember where you were when those events unfolded that September day. I wanted to look back at some of the eyewitness testimony, what people were saying uh, who lived through that event. One woman talked about the doors being jammed in the building because the structure of the building as a whole was bent and compromised, so they couldn't even open doors to get out. It was a struggle to do that. One man talked about how he shimmied down the frame of the building to try and get to safety. And another woman talked about how when she uh, had escaped the buildings and she finally caught a glimpse of her reflection as she was passing some glass, she didn't even recognize herself because of all the dust and debris that was on her face. But all the people that I listened to shared one specific thing that I thought was remarkable. None of them could adequately describe the sound that they heard when the Twin Towers fell, when each of the towers fell. It was unlike any sound they had heard before. But to hear them recount the events of that day was painful. It was harrowing. I, and, and sometimes I felt like I was there in some small way because they were describing exactly what was taking place. And, and it gets your heart racing and you feel the emotion of the moment as they're crying and sharing these memories. Eyewitness testimony can be powerful. Wouldn't you want to hear eyewitness testimony from someone who spent time with Jesus? The Apostle John is someone who did just that. And in 1 John, he begins his letter by saying, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and have touched with our hands, concerning the word of life, the life was made manifest and we have seen it and testified to it and proclaimed to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us, and indeed our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. John gets us closer with each description of the interaction of Jesus. John shares events from Jesus' life in his gospel, but he is giving us lessons in our passage and in the rest of 1 John. Did you notice how he said, we have seen three times? He said, we have heard twice. He is sharing that he was actually in the presence of Jesus. John watched Jesus calm the storm. John watched Jesus heal the blind and lame man. John saw Jesus on the cross. And John saw the resurrected Lord after he overcame death. John was there. They were there with Jesus when Jesus was in the flesh. But John knew that Jesus existed long before he ever came to earth. In fact, John made a point of stressing the eternal nature of Jesus, not only here in 1 John chapter 1, but also at the beginning of his gospel in John chapter 1. But it's not just that Jesus is eternal and that he lives an eternal life, but that he in fact is eternal life. And John makes that point clear here in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 2. And this shows us that eternal life is only found in one place, and that is Jesus Christ. So the question is for each of us today, where are my eyes focused and where are my priorities? Do we have our eyes focused on our eternal Lord and Savior? Or are we focused more on the temporary things of this temporary world? It's easy for us to get distracted by the temporary things. It always is. Yet one day, the only, thing that's, the only thing that is going to matter is the eternal things. So this week, I want us all to take an inventory of what we prioritize most in our lives. If our primary focus is not on the eternal things, then we must refocus our priorities. One day, we're going to have the opportunity to see Jesus in fellowship with him, just like John did. But the only way that we can get there is if we first focus on being eternal and good and faithful servants. I want to thank you all for watching this week, and we hope to see you again next week.